Hi Cooking for Dogs, I hope you enjoyed this two part video series I've put together for you. In the first part of this video we're going to be making some delicious beefy meatballs for your dog and the second part of the video I'm going to be baking some pumpkin seed Scooby Doo inspired dog treats. Now let's begin with these super delicious beef meatballs. So let's take a look at our ingredients. We have some beef mince, grated carrot, grated cheese, egg, whole wheat flour, breadcrumbs. We've got some beautiful broccoli, healthy kale and olive oil. We're using a beef stock cube and we're also adding a little omega-3 fish oil caps to this dish. We have a few cooking utensils and a large glass mixing bowl. And I also have my fry pan, which I'll be using to fry up the meatballs. Now let's add our beef to the bowl. We all know beef is protein. Did you know it supplies great energy and minerals and it's got no carbs? The beta carotene and grated carrot is great for eyes and boosts the immune system. Cheese is rich in calcium and a good source of protein. Eggs are one of the cheapest sources of high quality protein and essential fatty acids you can buy. Veggies are highly nutritious and contain good fibre and did you know kale is a superfood? Mix in the breadcrumbs and combine all the ingredients with the wooden spoon. Crumble in the beef stock cube and add the omega-3 oil. The omega-3s are great for your dog's joints, skin and coat. The breadcrumbs will bind all these ingredients together nicely and will allow us to shape the meatballs. We're also going to use a little flour. We want this mixture to be quite stiff. I find using the ice cream scoop is ideal as it gives me a nice uniform sized meatball. Begin to form each meatball and roll in the flour. A quick tip here is if you use a little olive oil on the palms of your hands, it'll stop the mixture getting so sticky. Once you've made all your meatballs, it's time to set aside and heat the oil in your fry pan. We're cooking these meatballs over a moderate heat and you want to hear the nice sizzling sound of the oil before you pop them in. As you place the meatballs in the fry pan, just allow some space around each of the meatballs which will allow you to turn them easier. I'm cooking these small sized meatballs for around about four to five minutes on each side. Let's have a check and we're going to turn them over. The meatball should be a golden brown colour, so once you've checked that, turn them over in the fry pan. Cover them with a the lid to speed up the cooking. Check inside one of the meatballs to see if the meat is a pale colour, which means it's fully cooked. Add a pinch of grated cheese to each of these meatballs to add a little garnish. These look and smell delicious and they've been made using human grade quality meats and vegetables, dog friendly ingredients, but there's no reason why you can't share with your pup. Call it a tandem food. These freeze beautifully in freezer bags for future meals. As you can see, our pug and poodle taste testers are in doggy heaven over this dish. And the next part of our video, we're going to make a batch of Scooby-Doo pumpkin cookie treats. These golden crunchy pumpkin treats have been made directly from the Scooby-Doo cookery book I picked up at the local supermarket. So we're going to test them out today. I'll leave the recipe, the measurements and the conversions in the description box below. Our tools and ingredients we're going to be using today, we have a wooden spoon, a spatula, a rolling pin and I'm going to use an electric beater. Our ingredients are whole wheat flour, rice flour, rolled oats, some peanut butter, smooth peanut butter, mashed pumpkin which I've mashed myself, no additives, pumpkin seeds, we have sunflower oil, 
baking powder and cinnamon to make our dog's breath sweet. I also have some water on hand just to get the right consistency I need for the dough. Let's begin by adding the all-purpose whole wheat flour, rice flour, the oats, the baking powder and cinnamon into the large mixing bowl and stir together with the wooden spoon. In a separate container, beat together the oil, the cooled mashed pumpkin and peanut butter until it's smooth. Pumpkin is great for your dog. It adds fibre but it's also packed with vitamins and minerals. It's an excellent source of beta carotene which is good for your dog's eyes and also boosts his immune system. Make a well in the centre of the dry ingredients and pour in the pumpkin mixture. Stir it well and then gradually add enough water just to make a nice firm soft dough. Add more water as needed. If the mixture is a little dry like this is, just continue adding water a small amount at a time. Now you can see that this consistency is really good. Those dry ingredients are all mixed through, but that dough is going to be very pliable and easy to work with. Sprinkle a generous amount of flour onto your cooking surface. I'm going to rub a little of the oil onto the palms of my hands to stop the mixture sticking to my hands as I work with it. Turn the cookie dough out of the large bowl and onto the floured surface. Work the cookie dough with your hands and knead it until it's no longer sticky. Use the rolling pin and roll out the dough until it's about half a centimetre in thickness. Now it's time to get your creativity on and let the fun begin. Cut the cookie dough into shapes with your favourite shaped cookie cutters. Place your cookie shapes onto the baking tray, leaving a little space around each. And the final step is to press on the pumpkin seeds. It's time to pop these into the preheated oven and bake in that moderate heat for up to 25 minutes. Yum, these smell great. They're golden brown and they're crunchy. Roland is going to love these. Roland has his buddies here today to help with the taste testing. It sounds like our taste testers are getting impatient. Well, thanks Scooby-Doo for these pumpkin seed inspired treats from Gregory the Pug, Roland the Toy Poodle and Oscar the Pomeranian, we say they're delicious. Thanks for watching our channel today. If you liked it, please hit the subscribe button, check us out on Facebook, and head on over to my cookingfordogs.com dog blog site where you'll find heaps of more interesting information on how to care for your pet. Bon appetit!